Okay, with the clip imported here, if you took it over from Premiere, it will already be in a composition. If not, I'm dragging the clip to a composition here. Um, I'm going to do one quick thing here. Since it's kind of really dark footage, you get this to track better. I am going to uh, go to Effects. Arrange this for Effects. Look for the effect for Levels. Drag it to this. And I'm going to brighten this up. Here. And we're just going to use this as a reference clip here. So I'm just going to make this a little more contrasty on the levels here, dragging the mids down or highlighting the mids and uh, darkening the darks. Then I'm going to right click on this layer and make this act like it's its own video clip, all flattened. So, so I'm going to pre compose this and move all the attributes to the new composition. Make sure that this little thing right here, the rasterize thing, is turned off. Or it won't really work. And now I can move this to the end of the clip here. And all I really, I'm going to move it to the very, very end. And I'm going to go up to uh, motion tracking. This is going to be, this is, doesn't have to be a 3D camera tracker. It'll be a, something a little more simple. I'm going to go to track motion. It'll bring up this little track point. I'm going to hold on option and mouse scroll up to this to grab it and move it over. And this won't have to have a super accurate track. You make the square larger if you want it to be a more of an accurate track. Uh, well, let's just do it, make it a little larger so it's tracking more pixels. I'm going to put it down the high contrast corner right there. Just to make this, uh, I hit H for hand, I'm going to pull this down, I'm going to hit V for my tool here and hit rotation, it'll add another square. I'm going to grab this square and move it up to another, just to track rotation. Here's another nice little high contrast mark, marking right there. I'm going to make this bigger so it fills in that hole tracks that whole section right there and I'm going to track backwards I'm at the very end shift question mark to show full screen and I'm going to <clears throat> hit this little analyze backwards right there not one frame but it'll play backwards and now I'm just going to let that track backwards and it's going to track the movement here and I'm going to let that go until all this area is clear we don't have to track the whole movie we can just track the portion that we want to section out here. Okay, so once that's all out of there, just saw everything leave there so we can keep it kind of the same here. I'm going to hit stop. That's enough. That's plenty. So it's tracked all that movement there. I'm going to go to Layer. I'm going to go to Layer, New, Null Object, and I'm going to attach that tracking information to the null. I'm going to hit Edit Target and tell it to go to the null. Hit OK and Apply. Apply will attach all that data to the uh, to the null. There's the null. There's the tracking data. So you got the rotation and the movement of the shot there, and it's tracked to that shot. So now I'm going to go to my I double click on that pre comp. Here it is. I'm going to select that clip, copy, go back to the After Effects, uh, or go back to the original comp, hit home to go to the beginning, and paste my clip in there. There's my clip. Using this one, for, I use that one for tracking reference. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to delete uh, that effect off of it because I want to get it back to normal. So I'm going to go to Levels and Delete. So I use that Brighten level right here for the information to create the null because the brighter higher contrast was able to track better. So now here's the clip. Um, now I'm going to find a portion where this where there's no shadow over it where you got a good image of this background right there. I'm going to duplicate this again this layer here. Command D, duplicate it. So um, now I'm going to freeze frame the one on top here. So I'm going to right click, go to time and freeze frame. So that is freeze frame now. There you go. So I'm going to get right on that frame there where I freeze framed it. Zoom up on that, make sure it's right on the frame that I freeze framed. There we go. Right there, I'm going to go up to my uh, pen tool and I'm going to select kind of a big area surrounding this thing here. Just make sure it covers it. Right there. So it cuts it out. So let me show you what we've got. So we've got this freeze frame over the video. So now you can see the video moving and you see that freeze frame there. So I'm going to undo so you know that that's a freeze frame right there covering it. And now I'm just going to simply grab that and drag it and uh, and parent it to the null. 
and now that layer will move with that, but it happens right where the tracking started happening. So what I can actually do is where the tracking stops right there is about where the tracking stops. Right there, I'm going to select this layer, hold down Option, and hit my left bracket. It'll put an endpoint there. So now that freeze frame comes, turns on, right as he's walking in there. You can see right here, boom, that's where it turns on. If you're not watching, so there you go. Walks in, and this stays black the entire time. And see the little bit of edge there, so all I have to really have to do is go to my mask, go to my mask here, and I just feather the mask, like, I don't know, 15 pixels or so, 15, 20 pixels. And that softens it up a bit, and there you go. And now that stays dark the whole time, and that's the easiest way to do that. So.